Terry, three points and a brilliant 2-1 victory over York. That must be a really nice feeling this evening. Absolutely chuffed. I'd have took the ugliest 1-0 all day and I would do on the, the, the upcoming three games we've got. We, what pleased me most today was prior to their sending off, I mean, they come out of the traps like they are. They're the second best football inside in the league. Play some great stuff and we finally got our press right. We scored against the runner play from the corner, which, you know, Tyler again is brilliant in the air. And we were then able to have a little bit of time to get our press right. And I was absolutely chuffed, even when they had 11 men where the goalkeeper was trying to play out, he couldn't play out. And they resulted, you know, that resulted in them hitting long balls into our big centre halves. So that's so pleasing from a coaching angle. Um, delighted with that. Uh, obviously, the sending off, 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 it just changed the game and, and, and it gave us a bit more room to play. What it allowed us was a little bit more time on the ball. And I thought we started off very nervously on the ball, not comfortable on the ball. And we've got players capable of looking after the ball. Uh, I thought the change to two up front worked really, really well for us because um, if I look at any, he likes to run channels. Tommy run his heart out today, um, played Tommy further up. Um, never too sure what Harry's best position was. Never too sure if he was that forward. Does he score enough? Does he create enough? Played in the hole today because his hold up plays good and that suited us today. That was very effective. Um, I look at the talent we've got and you've got Justin and Odie also pushing for places there. Odie with a real blistering pace. Justin is probably the most or one of the most talented boys in non-league so we've got to find some, some way to get him. I think he could also play in the 10. Um, getting more of the ball. On your, your, your best players you want them to be on the ball a bit more. Um, I, I thought Ross and uh, James I thought we handled the game well because when we went down to one all, we we didn't we weren't cautious. We 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 were very uh, attacking minded, and it was a very front foot performance. We squeezed the back four up and played a higher line, which I, I, I think suited us much better with less chance of getting gaps through, and uh, testimony as well to the work the work over a year that Mark and Tom have done where we have got good players here now. I think I got castigated last time I was on uh, on Shots Web for saying um, I didn't think the players were good enough and I didn't. I'm an honest person so if, if you ask me if I don't think they're good enough I'll tell you and I don't think you should hide behind that. Mm. These players are good enough and if we don't start climbing up the league and have a good FA trophy run it's our fault. I think you speak a lot, a lot about the um, technical ability of the players, but I think they showed real character as well. Obviously, yeah. having York down to ten men and, and them getting back in the game, you know, it, yeah. some players would fold under that. But we, we got back into it. And I think we have folded in the past over similar circumstances, um, and so, I wouldn't say we, I, we. I think we deserve to win three or four a day, to be honest. Um, but I, I, I couldn't see them scoring a goal. And it came out of nothing. I don't even know. I'll be interested to see how it come. But, um, you know, I don't want to put any negatives out. We'd have loved a clean sheet today. But if we go with the same intensity and if we go with that will to win and individual battles, I spoke today to the players about winning their own individual battles. And there wasn't an area of that park where we didn't win our individual battles. It's obviously going to be now quite a very a busy week and a half with, with three more games to go. So, you know, it, it, yeah. do we do the players have a bit of rest now and just and just do the kind of same thing, keep the same yeah. thing going? I feel sorry. Yeah, we want to keep the momentum, momentum going. But I do feel sorry for Ross and James because they want to be out and a coach wants to be out in the training pitch. They can hardly get any training in this week. They'll have a, a, a careful Monday where they'll run through a bit of pattern and shape. They're playing Tuesday, it's up at Yeovil, we'll, we'll be late back, they'll have Wednesday is a recuperation day, don't call it a rest day as I used to in my day, they're not allowed to rest anymore, it has to be a recuperation day, so they'll be recuperating <clears throat> and then that gives us a Thursday to work at the stuff they want to work. Obviously we're going to be not changing too much but <clears throat> you know, again testimony to the team that um, 
the two boys left us, we had a good bench today, you know, was able to, to rest Corey. And again, we were lucky to have parts back. Them two boys only had parts for four games at the start of the season. Look at the difference he makes. He's a physical presence, he's a, he's a, uh, he talks, he's a captain. We missed that this year, we lost Josh as well. So uh, there's fine lines between a great day and um, blimey, another day. <laughs> Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.